Hey everyone, it's Crafty Chic Sherry here with another micro lesson. This week our micro lesson is focused on the topic of gratitude. Sometimes life gets hectic and we begin to feel overwhelmed or sad or down. If we take a moment to focus on the people and the things that we are grateful for in life, you'd be surprised at how much better you would feel. When you're grateful, other things just seem to kind of melt away and fall by the wayside. As an example, it's really hard to hold two feelings or emotions at the same time. So it's going to be really difficult for you to feel jealous and grateful at the same time. You might even be thankful for someone else's success or for their contribution to your success. Being thankful gives you perspective on your situation and brings you to the present moment. One of the most impressive reasons for being grateful is the positive impact on the way you think and feel. Research shows that grateful people have higher reported levels of the positive states of alertness, enthusiasm, determination, attentiveness, and energy. You will find a positive emotional state by simply focusing on the parts of your life that you are most thankful for. Appreciate the abundance in your life. Being grateful is an energizing way to start your day. It's also a relaxing way to end it. Brene Brown, one of my best friends in my head, <laughs> informs us that we cannot talk about joy without also talking about gratefulness. In her research, she's found that people who identified as being happy and with joy were people who practiced gratitude. So through some reflection, I thought about some of the people and things that I am grateful for. I am grateful for my mom and dad because no matter what storm we're going through, they have always had my back and they've helped me weather any storm. My sisters and my brother, because no matter how down I am, no matter how much we fight, they always know how to make me laugh and they remind me that I am loved unconditionally. My staff, because they challenge me to strive to do my personal best, they are a huge reason that I love the work that I do. Waterfalls and turtles, not just because they're pretty, um, but they just kind of remind me of nature and the beauty that exists in nature and how lucky I am to be able to embrace and enjoy what nature has to offer us. And Mickey Mouse, because he reminds me to be innovative and, the, and that no matter how you start, you have a chance in life. Mickey Mouse, I don't know if you know this, but started out as a sketch on a napkin. Thinking about where Disney is today, that just is a great reminder to me that great things are possible. If you learn nothing else through this lesson, please know that gratitude is not just about an attitude. An attitude is a general feeling or an opinion about something. Practice is more actionable, and the more you practice something, the stronger it becomes. So my suggestion for everyone is to practice gratitude. Here are some ideas for how you can begin practicing gratitude yourself. You can use a journal to record things that you're grateful for on a daily basis. You could craft yourself your own gratitude rock. And this can serve as a daily reminder of the things that you're grateful for. You could string some gratitude beads that you can attach to a keychain, or you can make it a bracelet. Um, what people do is they hold these beads in your hand while they meditate about the things that they are grateful for. You could use a tool such as the gratitude wheel that breaks out different areas in your life and in each area, you can think about what are the things that I am grateful for in each of these areas. Or you could participate in a gratitude challenge. There are a ton of examples of gratitude challenges all over the internet. 
Um, I've created a seven day challenge that will be linked in this video as a freebie this week. Um, and I have three different versions of my gratitude challenge. One is for anybody and everybody. Um, and then I have another one that's specific for RAs or community assistants, you know, any student staff member that works for a residence life and housing. And then I also have one that's for student affairs professionals. So I hope you try one of these ideas and feel free to leave a comment to let me know which idea you might try from this video. And feel free to also leave comments about additional tips and suggestions that you have for practicing gratitude. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. This is Creative Empowerment, and I'll see you next week with another micro lesson.